So, how to clean and, and maintain your trombone parts and lubricate the necessary parts on your trombone. First of all, you should always find a soft surface to lay your, your, your items and instruments on it. So for me, I have a, a foam cushion for this purpose. So in this process, you will need to take, take your trombone bell and slide apart, your mouthpiece apart, and you will need a trombone slide lubricant, the valve oil, and the linkage oil, a spray bottle, water spray bottle, a cleaning rod with gauze or cloth wrapped on it, and a, a towel. So first, let's do the slide. So, I'll take the slide out so the inner slide and outer slide are apart. I put the outer slide down and I will use the towel to wipe the inner slide very well. Okay, wipe it really well. Down until you don't see the leftover slide cream from the last time you did it. Or any other stuff. So it's pretty clean now. Now I grab the cleaning rod that with the gauze wrap around it. You can, you can buy this gauze in anywhere in the farm pharmacy, pharmacies. Or you can use, use the t-shirt that you don't wear anymore to cut it and wrap around the cleaning rod. We'll put this inside through The do that very quickly. The inner slide. Make sure, you will see that this side is going to come off, come out. Make sure to take out the extra cloth, then move back out. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Go through and take the end part out. If you don't take that part out. It's hard, it's, it's hard to put it back, okay? So you don't want to force anything with the slide. So take it out, it should come back very easily. Same thing for the under, other tube, right? This one, and take it out. See, I can't even come back. I can't even take it back without getting the rest of the cloth out. Again, never force your instrument. Be patient. Okay, one last time. And take it out. Now, you can look at the light. Very clean. Okay, you don't see any things in there. Very good. So after the outside and inside is cleaned, okay, then we'll put it down. We'll use the same process to clean the outer slide. So for outer slide, we have to be very careful. I'll explain you why. It's because if you're not careful, see, you can poke the end of the, the, the slide and crook by your cleaning rod. You don't want to do that. If you poke it hard, you're going to dent it. Okay, so I would encourage or suggest if you use your index finger to put place that on the cleaning rod to serve as a gouge. So that way you know when the cleaning rod is, is about to reach to the end. It's very important. Okay, see, I use this finger, the finger stops the action before. The, the rod gets all the way to the end. This way, I never poke my 
I'm going to uncrock the slide. Okay, this is important. Same thing here. I'm going to do this a few times. It should be nice and clean. Now it's time to lubricate your slide. So you, when you lubricate your slide, you do your lubricate your inner slide only. Okay. So you can use any slide cream or slide uh, a, a liquid. Okay. So for for me, I use the Yamaha Trombone Slide Lubricant. It works for, for my instrument the best here. But again, you can use any kind. Don't apply too much. Just apply, depending on what kind of product you're using. But up a little first, okay? If it's not enough, you can always add it. Okay. If it's too much, then you, you, you pretty much have to wipe it off and start over. So, for me, oh, that's great. For some product, you it requires a little bit of the water at the end of the process. Okay, so, so that's why I have a, 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 a bottle, the bottle spray here. I spread it into my inner slide. It works really well. It works much better than it was before. Much, much better. So the trombone slide is the most active parts of your instrument, and you want this to work flawlessly every time you play the trombone. We're done with this cleaning and lubricating process with the slide. Now, let's, let's take care of the bell section. If you have a F attachment, like I have here, so you will need to lubricate your, your valve, your trombone valve. If you don't have a, a, a valve here, obviously you don't have to worry about that. But let's see how it's done. So first, before adding anything on, onto the valve, we take out the tuning slides. I have a B-flat tuning slide. I have a F, that's the F, uh, that, that, that's the, uh, the F tuning slide, that's the B-flat tuning slide. It's one is bigger, another one's smaller. So, after you get to the, as to this, look like this, then you turn around to use a valve uh, oil or piston oil. Do not apply slide cream or slide oil to the valve or vice versa, okay? So valve or piston oil for the valve or piston. Okay, so for me, I use the uh, Super Slick Fast. So you activate this trigger and give a few drop inside. A few drop is enough. And make sure to place a towel or paper towel or a rag below it so it doesn't get your, your floor dirty or your, your cushion dirty. So same process for the other side, activate. Your, your your trigger and go from here this one and to to move the trigger a little bit you can almost instantly feel it's working okay then I open my cap of the valve here and I apply a few drops, maybe just one, two drops, in here, on the surface of the valve. I'm going to put this, the, the cap back on. Now, you've done your lubrication for the valve, but don't hurry to put the slide back into this part. Okay, you want to make sure that you wipe off all the oils around the instrument, the bell section, okay, and allow inside to drain a little bit. So make sure that there's no leftover oil that's stored inside. Okay, make sure that you make them out. 
because if you put the slide back up and if there's leftover valve oil getting to your slide, then it's going to be very messy and hard to clean. Okay, you don't want to do that. So make sure that there's no excessive oil left. Make sure there's nothing dripping down. Good. Now we've with all of the valve. The next step is to also take care of your linkage part, which is the outside of the, the tr trigger parts. Okay, so I use this linkage uh, 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 oil or rotary or, or, or it's called the key. And usually it looks like this, well, usually it has a spindle on top, so it can reach you know corners and things like that. So I just put one or two drops onto this linkage part. And again, do not use this to drop inside of your of your 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 your, your, your valve. Okay? So each oil will, will have its function and it's very, very very different. Okay? So very good. Wow. So already faster and lighter already. Now you've done your uh, trigger area of the lubrication. So the last part needs to be oiled is the tuning slide. So for me, I have two tuning slides. So I have the F tuning slide and B flat. So let's, let's get that oiled. Be very careful operating your, uh, in the trombone disassembly especially, be very careful not to drop your parts. So I Wipe it off, just like the other uh, trombone slide. And I'll, I'll also wipe it off the other side of the tube. Not very clean. I use the tuning slide grease. Maybe I forgot to mention about this. The tuning slide grease for this purpose, okay? For me, this is also the super slick. But again, you can use any type, as long as it's for tuning slide. Just apply very little, very, very thin layer. Very thin layer. You don't want to have, you don't want, want to, to apply too much that you can see the, the grease on it. At the end, you can't really see it, okay? Now, same way on this side. Nice and thin, all spread out. Now, put it back up. Same process for the, the B flat tuning slide here. Wipe it out. And we'll wipe the other side. Nice and clean. Same process. Tuning slide grease, apply lightly. Again, you can always add more if it's not enough, but if you get too much the first time, then you have to wipe it all off. Okay, I can't really see anything on it, but I know it's there. And this one. Very nice. Now, put it back up. Feels really good, very smooth now. And last but not least is that when you do uh, the, the, the maintenance and cleaning and the lubricating process, always do not forget to check the parts of your trombone. The screws, the springs, the bumpers, the slide lock, the valve, make sure they're, they're in the right place, okay? Make sure they're not loose, the spring is not, not placed, you know, strangely. Everything is in place nice. Okay, I'm checking everything. My screws, my springs, my parts. Make sure that they're, they're not loose. If it's loose, 
speak to your band director. They have tools. They can help you. Or you can talk to your teacher, right? They can help you if you're not sure how to do them, okay? So if you're not sure, don't attempt. Talk to your band director about it. Okay, so I checked my trombone. Everything is attached. There's no loose screw. There's no loose spring. Everything's there. So my process is done. So this process should be repeated every two to three weeks. And uh, of course, more you've done this and more comfortable you'll become. And um, if you use trombone, very often you play you know, a lot. So you might want to repeat this process more often than two to three weeks. I hope this helped you.